In this lesson, we're going to talk about measurement benchmarks. A measurement benchmark is an object that is close to a certain measurement size. So, for example, something that is about an inch long. And we can use benchmarks to help us understand the size of different measurements. These benchmarks can help us when we're estimating measurements. And remember that an estimate is a close guess using our knowledge. So we're going to look at three different types of measurement. We're going to look at length liquid volume, and mass. When we measure length, we're looking at distance, how long something is. So there's two different ways we can measure length. We can use customary measurements or metric measurements. And in the United States, we primarily use customary. So our customary measurements are the inch, the foot, the yard, and the mile for length. And those get larger as we go. So you can see on your chart some different benchmarks that can help you remember the sizes. So an inch is about the width of a quarter. The, a foot is about the length of a football. A yard is about the length of a baseball bat. And a mile you can walk in about 20 minutes. The metric system, the metric measurements, are the primary measurement system in most of the other countries in the world. And for length, those are the millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. So you've got some benchmarks to help you there as well. So a millimeter is about the width of a nail. A centimeter is about the width of your pinky finger. A meter is about the width of a door. And a kilometer, you can walk it in about 10 minutes. When we're measuring length, we're going to use tools like rulers, measuring tape, a meter stick, different things like that. But when we're looking for an estimate, we can use the benchmarks to help us. So for example, if we wanted to know about how long a bike is, well, we know that a bike would be a little bit more than a baseball bat. So we could say it would be about one and a half yards. Next, we're going to look at liquid volume. And liquid volume measures how much liquid a container can hold. And you might also see it written as the capacity of an object. And again, we're, we have customary and we have metric. So the top row on the chart are the customary ones, a cup, a pint, a quart, and a gallon. And for the metric, we have a milliliter and a liter. These are the most common ones that we use. So again, you've got some benchmarks to help you. So a cup is about a box of juice. A pint is about a tall glass of water. A quart is like a smaller jug of milk or a container of orange juice. And a gallon, you typically see a gallon of milk, a big jug. For the metric, the milliliter is like one drop out of a little dropper. And a liter it would be about a really tall bottle of water, so a large water bottle. When we're measuring liquid volume, we're going to use things like measuring cups. But again, we can use these benchmarks to help us make an estimate. So if we needed to know about how much hot chocolate a mug could hold, well, I know a mug isn't going to hold quite as much as a tall glass of water. It's going to be closer to the juice box. So that would be about one cup of hot chocolate. Last one we're going to talk about is mass. And when we're measuring mass, we're looking at how heavy an object is. Our customary measurements are an ounce, which is about one slice of bread a pound, which is about a loaf of bread, and a ton, which is really heavy. It would be about a car. For the metric, we have a gram, which is one paper clip, so that's really light. And a kilogram is about the mass of a textbook, so about how heavy a textbook is. If we're measuring mass, we're going to use a scale or a triple beam balance to measure that. And we can use the benchmarks to help us make an estimate. So if we needed to know the mass of a dollar bill, we would say that that's about one gram because that would be about the same as one paper clip. 